What's up, it's Auto Handles. And I'm not sure if you've heard, but Mikey Williams isn't playing for Lake Norman this season. He's playing for Vertical Prep Academy. But before we get into this news, make sure you like the video and subscribe. It doesn't take that long to sub to the channel, so why not? Mikey Williams' Vertical Prep debut was anything but uneventful. Mikey Williams looks very confident out there, but he wasn't the only one. If you've kept up with Mikey Williams and the teams he's been on, Mikey has always been the main guy. His teammates sometimes don't seem like they want it that bad. But at Vertical Prep, his teammates are high-level players and can help him improve. Gone were the days when people could say that Mikey doesn't play good competition. If you're a top prospect in your class, it is vital that you play good competition. If you don't, you just won't have anything to work for. That's why your coaches always tell you to play against the best guys in the gym. It can only get you better, and so is the case with Mikey. At Vertical Prep, he'll play against top teams like Montverde and Sierra Canyon. Now that Bronny vs. Mikey battle, I'm looking forward to. Now in his debut, he actually dropped 23 points. But what a lot of people were talking about was one of his teammates actually outperformed him. His name is Trey Parker, and he scored 34 points. But this isn't that surprising to me. Vertical Prep plays against all the powerhouse high school basketball has to offer, and their roster is filled with talent. But Trey Parker isn't even ranked. Mikey is highly ranked in the class of 2020. However, just because he dropped 11 more points than Mikey won the game doesn't mean anything. Mikey is still a great player, but he won't be the only guy getting buckets anymore. In my opinion, it's better this way. He'll be able to improve his game by a lot. His competition at San Ysidro wasn't great, and according to Max Preps, in his freshman season with the Cougars, he was averaging 29.9 points a night. Now, I don't know how accurate these numbers are, but he was going crazy. But what do you think? Do you think he can play at a high level against gifted competition? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace.